determining valence electrons from electron configurations. So in these problems, they ask us to figure out the number of valence electrons given an electron configuration. So let's take the first one. Na's, or sodium's, electron configuration is 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, and 3s1. Na has how many valence electrons? To figure out this problem, we'll take a look at the electron configuration. And remember, valence electrons mean that it's at the highest energy level. And the highest numbered energy level we have here is 3. So here, we have to figure out how many electrons are in this 3 energy level. And all it says is we have S1. So that means there is actually just one valence electron for Na's electron configuration. So Na only has one valence electron. Ne, in this second problem, it says this electron configuration is 1s2, 2s2, 2p6. So it has one less electron than Na. What it says is Na has how many valence electrons? So remember, again, we have to find the highest energy, numbered energy level, and that's 2. But this is where it gets tricky. Notice that it says 2s2, but it also says 2p6. So 2p6 and 2s2 both count for that energy level of 2. So we have to count all, we have to count all the electrons that are included in 2s, 2, and 2p6. So here, 2s2 tells me that I have 2 electrons, 2 valence electrons there, plus the 6 from the p orbitals, and that gives me a total of 8 valence electrons electrons. So be very careful when you see something like that to notice all the high energy orbitals, um, highly numbered energy, no matter what orbitals they are. They both count as valence electrons. So that is eight valence electrons.